Okie dokie, thank you for joining me in yet another exercise in which I will read a paragraph to you. Embedded within the paragraph are the potential for errors related to grammar, punctuation, syntax, and so forth. Just keep that in mind as you listen to it being read. Afterwards, I'm going to step out of frame and ask that you pause the video to make corrections independently. Uh, oh, and of course, resume so that we can correct them together. For now, I'm going to go ahead and start by reading. <clears throat> Excuse me, and it's a continuation, obviously, of the previous video. So, as a young girl, Jane loved to read about African animals, and she especially enjoyed uh, Rudyard's Kipling's uh, Just So Stories. Excuse me. She also enjoyed writing, and her mother helped her produce her own weekly newspaper about animals. When Jane finished school, her mother could not afford to send her to the university, so Jane began working. After several years, a school friend invited Jane to visit her in Kenya, so Jane's dream of seeing Africa came true. All right, go ahead and pause the video here to make your corrections. All right, since I'm moving, you've resumed, we're gonna go ahead and correct. As a young girl, comma, Jane being a proper noun, let's go ahead and capitalize it. Love to read about African animals. We're gonna go ahead and capitalize A in African animals, comma, and she especially enjoyed Rude, I'm sorry, Rudyard Kipling's Just So Stories. Uh, it sounds as though this is an author, the name of an author, so I'm going to go ahead and capitalize the R. And it sounds as well that this is a book they've written, Just So Stories. And I'm going to show that possessive by including the apostrophe before the S. And I'm going to go ahead and underline the name or the published story or book title. She also enjoyed writing, and her mother helped her produce her own weekly newspaper about animals, period. When Jane finished school, comma, her mother could not afford to send her to the university, period. Next sentence, capitalized. So Jane, Jane being a proper noun capitalized, began working, period. Oh, excuse me, I shouldn't have ended with a period. I'm going to go ahead and end with a comma, and I'm going to go ahead and reduce the uppercase that I had made this so, and there you go, leave it as lowercase, began working, period. New sentence, start with a capital. After several years, a school friend invited Jane to visit her in Kenya. And I'm going to go ahead and capitalize that. So Jane, I'm sorry, Kenya. So Jane's possessive dream of seeing Africa, capitalized, came true, period. Okie dokie. Hopefully, again, your corrections align with my own. Otherwise, please let me know what you did in the comment section below. And please give this video a like if you found it helpful. And of course, subscribe if you'd like to continue to practice. All right, thank you.